vape, vape, vaping with the homies. 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 Welcome everybody. Welcome to the show. Let me introduce you to some dudes in case you don't know. First we got a Z. All the way from Kuwait Always got a point when it's time for debate Oh my lanta, some call him Dan Got the dad jokes in the palm of his hand Boom sauce McNasty got his eyes on the news Got his ear to the streets and he's down for the crew Next up is Clown, the DIY king Got a juice line and some coils that sing Then there's a bear who's smarter than average Quick with a wit, his name Vapor Swaggins Then there's the homie, we know him as frames And too many guests to remember the names Together they make up this killer vape Panel. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Vape, vape, vaping with the homies. 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 Welcome back to another episode of Vaping with the Homies. What's in the news, Pumsaw? Alright guys, it's that time for Dan's Dad Joke of the Week. What is going on, Omies? Welcome back to another episode of Vaping with the Omies. I believe we're on episode 10 now of season 2. Of course, as you can see, we're down a clown vapes this week. You know, he had to take some time to do, you know, some personal things. So, of course, you know, we're still bringing you guys a show. And we grabbed up my man, my dude, the angry hippie, Sean Typhon. But, of course, before we get into too much more, I want to do uh, that thing that we've been doing at the beginning of the shows normally now, guys. I'm going to shout out our amazing sponsors. So, of course, first off, we're going to start off with opmh project big shout outs to them uh the omis are glad to announce that we are in full partnership with omph uh you not only are they a fantastic liquid uh manufacturer but they also do distro as well of course uh we'll be giving you guys first looks at any liquids that will be coming are uh, coming your way from omph and of course we're just ecstatic to have them along with us for the ride and of course another huge huge shout out to our amazing sponsor independent vapor company ivc make sure you guys go Go check out their website. Use the code OMIS20 for 20% off your entire order. Grab up some of their delicious Parade Maker, which is a hazelnut toffee sugar cookie. Super delicious. They have plenty of other ones like Bubs, which is like a watermelon bubble gum. They have a lot of great stuff, guys. Go check them out. Use the code. And you can also check out some of the OMPH project, the fountain on the site as well. And uh, I believe I just heard that they picked up deep cuts. What? What? So definitely go check them out. Use the code OMIS20. 20% off your order. And with that being said, uh, I want to introduce you guys to our host for tonight, Poon Sauce Week Nasty. Take it away, bro. Bro, that was not cool. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what's up, guys? Okay, first setup. Wait, am I doing a buffet or what am I doing now? You're hosting no, I'm the just show, kidding, bro. dude. I just, I just wanted to see what you'd do. Uh, <laughs> so with that being said, we'll pass it to you, Corey. What are you vaping okay, on tonight, bro? Okay, that's <laughs> okay. Well, first setup I got going tonight is my stacked purge truck with the Goon 1.5. And inside of there, my homage to Aziz, who's not able to make it with us today. Got some surf satisfying. Loving this stuff. And then next, I got my my black electroplated copper dreamer with the Rebirth RTA. And inside of there... I got some Supreme Sours. They're sour cherry. Pretty good in there. And then let's see. I got my Transistor Brizzo 
with the uh, whoa hiccup apoc 25 in, on top of there and inside of there big shout out to our sponsor independent vapor company i got some millionaire mango in there dude that's my mm. favorite Nelly that's too. Steep super mango. steep millionaire Look mango. At that stuff so like good li- liquid gold and then i got my zero you with, found it um crumbs drops they're flaky french and then finally my hardest hitting mod that i own it goes with me everywhere my tenacious tater. <laughs> Someone called that. Someone said you were going to pull that out for something. That's I did. Tater. I thought you were going to pull, pull it out when he passed the show to you and you had no idea what was going on. Just, tater. Uh, I got a tater. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's all I got. Today. I think I give that thing like two more weeks before it's rotten and then about three months before he actu- his mom comes in and throws it away for him. <laughs> right. It's going to make his room smell and stuff. No, I'll get rid of it if it gets to that point. It'll, no, I'm just saying you would keep it because it would be like a science experiment and probably yeah. grow legs. I'm going to make electricity with it. Yes. Gonna, the new, out. The new battery. The uh, potato, potato battery, yes. Potatoes no, the bro. tenacious tater battery. Yeah. Start. Stan needs to patent that shit and then start a new business. On that note, why don't you pass it off? I'll pass it off to Mr. Vapor Swaggins. Oh, terrific. Well, guess what? I wasn't vaping, so... You're welcome. Thank you for hey, not and you weren't second up. to last. Exactly. So, well, you know what? Here's the talking in the middle... You know, this is my new theory. When I talk in the middle of somebody's buffet, I'm going to get called next. We'll see if this this, this is... <laughs> <laughs> All right? Well, you guys know who I am. I'm Vapor Swaggins. What's going on, everybody? Omis, it's a pleasure. It's another Monday night. It's summertime. And I'm enjoying some summertime vape flavors. So why don't we talk about what those vape flavors are in? And to start, I've got the Smuggler by Sturm. It is an 18650 mechanical tube with the Dwarf 22 millimeter, the mouth to lung, and a nice uh, aftermarket tank on there, steam tuners, I believe. And inside of that, I have this Milk Pudding by Xiaoyu. <laughs> And it is a delicious milk pudding flavor. By uh, who? What was the name of that again? Shungyung. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're taking a sword out of a sheath. Yeah, that's see this the two sword symbols. Oh, no, oh okay. No. Gotcha. Shung literally spells out sheath. <laughs> yeah. And uh, next I'm vaping on the Squeevo by Cyclone, their newest mod. Uh, it's a regulated squonker DNA 60 with the wicked on top by sad panda. And inside of that, I have bubs by IVC because I love watermelon right now. It is summertime and watermelon bubble gum. Watermelon. How could you not? Mm-hmm. Watermelon. And last but not least, I'm vaping on my cycloid, my Geomod cycloid uh, V 2.1. I think I get it confused. Uh, with the Skyfall on top of the DLC and some whiteness. And inside of that, I have Transistor Blutiful Disaster. Um, blue Raspberry, fantastic in-your-face flavor. And that's me. And I'm going to pass it off to the Angry Hippie. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for having me back, homies. Uh, Absolutely, bro. Homies. I am that other guy on the green room and that other guy on what's in the news with Poon Sauce. So be sure to check me out both of those places. And uh, let's dive right in with this guy right here. I got a Keen in the Warrior with that brand new melting popsicle by DHD on top, keeping it all super sexy. In that, I too am dabbling in the summertime fruits with a little bit of that manga bee because it's a solid, solid Delicious. Up next, it's that Custom Creations Micro Single 18650 Mech Squonk. Got that brand new Get Off My Lawn Micro Tip from DHD up here in top. Super nice on the GR one. In that, a little bit of that Hipster Boulevard from our friends over there at Independent Vapor Company. It's a chai latte, as you can see there on the label. Now it's a standing job on that one as well. And then lastly, Ardent Dreamer combo in green to match that chop top get off my lawn. Yeah, on top. dude. 
yeah, that just pulls it all together super nice. I can dig and it. That, that Bean Town Reserve soaked custardy. This is a uh, award-winning custard aged in a bourbon barrel. Fantastic vape. Very adult-themed flavor, if I might say. And uh, that's it for me. What's going on there, Mr. Danager? Oh, hey there. Uh, I have my hammer with the Profile Unity on top. And that I have this Burst Duo. This is Guava and Dragon Fruit. And I'm telling you, I've had this in here since the 4th. The 4th, I swapped all my juices out wanted some new flavors uh this guy vlad from burst came into the shop and he was like i'm gonna give you some samples this shit is so legit that i am right there on it and i've gotten a hold of them I'm like okay i'm gonna need more of that so be on the lookout for this stuff to be in the shop because it's yeah. so good i have to bring it in and share it with other people it's that good um, then I have my Dreamer with uh, Dead Goat, which this thing's just married here now. I, I love it. It's so good. And that, I have another duo, and this one is Peach and Raspberry. And this is my second favorite, and this is really, really good. And then I have my Keen with the Rebirth RTA on top, because tanks on tubes. Something you guys didn't even know about, I ha have a new juice from OPMH. And this is sugar cookie. Ooh. So it ju it's just a straight up sugar cookie. I'm testing it by itself. I'm testing it mixed with syntax. I'm testing it mixed with uh, parade maker. Even though it is sugar cookie, just to like yeah. kick it up a little bit. Um, it's it's been pretty good so far. I mixed it with syntax in the rebirth RTA, and it's treated me very well. But that's what I got. Very nice. So I'll pass it to James. All right. Well, uh, I got a couple setups tonight, guys. Of course, rocking it with uh, Shed Time. Of course, Asimodco Monarch right here with the Turk V2 on top. Got it all murdered out with that Turk tip. One of my favorite tips, by the way, at the moment, guys. There's something about the tip that comes with the Turk V2. Just really mm -hmm. dig that. Inside, down to the... This is literally going to be gone by the end of the show, Dan. I, I'm finally... It it's long, it's finally going to be done, dude. So... Banana sponge cake, coil turd, boule bolu, delicious. So sad that it's going to be done tonight, but, uh, you know, that is what it is. Of course, you guys seen this this morning. One Gen M by Mad Beard Mods with the flavor <gasps> RDA on top. You know, murdered out with, of course, a little bit of a green accent on there. I had to throw a little pop of color. Inside, still rocking that sad boy butter cookie. This one is one of my new favorites right now, guys. Really digging that. And uh, looks like I'm probably going to have to get a new bottle of that soon, too. And uh, next setup, uh, just got the, the topper on this in today. You know, not anything necessarily new. It's just a, a newer version. But I got that Turk V2 on top of my Just Right Edition MDX. Of course, picked up the red cap uh, over the weekend on that 50% off sale. Got another uh, melted popsicle chop top. Just like Sean's rocking on there. And of course, you know, I had to match the juice with the mod. So I threw some of that coated by the fountain in there that uh cherry citrus slushy really digging this stuff it's uh honestly i've been really enjoying this almost not as much as blast off because you guys know how i am with blast off but it's uh this stuff is it's working its way up there guys really been enjoying that and then uh last setup i already said what juice is in it uh blast off inside of the warlocks dagger goon 25 moss chop top dhd and like i said that blast off deliciousness right here and uh yeah other than that got the caliburn put up a video for this today if you guys want to go check that out got some 12 milligram over drip vanilla custard on the inside of this and i gotta say it is absolutely delicious and with that being said let's just go ahead and move on to our news segment of the week and uh, with that being said it's just it, it's that time guys it's time for what's in the news poon sauce okay uh yeah i was in the middle of vaping so let me do a little more i don't know what I don't know. I'm rambling. So, it looks like we have another state that introduced another flavor ban that's going to be in the works now. The state of Massachusetts has now been burdened with a flavor ban being introduced to to vapors out there, and it's going to be t it's a tough one. It's because we have 
obviously we have two people in this Zoom, the Zoom room, and on the show right now that are that live in the lovely state of Massachusetts, and with this being out there, it would greatly affect their livelihood. Their it would affect everybody in Massachusetts who hasn't found vaping yet. And yeah, Senator John was that Keenan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we know the name of the bill yet or no? I don't you know the specific have... name of the ba- the bill. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have that. Um, what I do know is I've spoken with the the heads of the New England Vapor Tech Association. Uh, they've personally met with Senator Keenan for several hours to discuss this matter. He won't budge. He won't hear the science. Um, it's going to be an uphill battle. It's going to be really ugly. Uh, he's hell bent on pushing this legislation through, and um, it's it's a precursor of what's coming everywhere. Um, it's it's succeeding in so many different places now, and as it continues to succeed, state after state after state. Um, it continues to snowball and get bigger and worse. Um, you know, it starts out oftentimes at a much more local level, at a city level. Um, Swaggins himself and his his home city is facing one come September. It's, yeah, no, it's already in effect. Well, yeah, it's it's already been passed and it'll be in effect in September. So it's not even like we can fight it. They're not even accepting. I think one of the local vape shops. Uh, had said that um, they tried to get an emergency um, meeting after the after the primary meeting because they do these things a lot of the time last minute or they sneak it into the bill or whatever and you can't make it. Um, so they tried to call an emergency meeting and the person in charge, the director, actually I have the information right here, so let me just be factually Thick correct. Nick. Dick Nick just hit the contact information in the chat. So if anybody would like to speak to Mr. Keenan um, directly and let him know how misguided his information is, um, I would definitely encourage that, of course. So, so yeah, it's the Board of Health um, for my town. Uh, And so basically they refuse to give the opportunity for an emergency Board of Health meeting. So they're not listening. They got what they wanted to get done, and it's done in my town. Um, it sucks that I'm defaulting. I automatically defaulted when I heard about that. I defaulted to the mindset of I'll be okay because I have friends that can help me out or I order online. But when it comes down to it, that is a kill business law that kills all of the vape shops in my town. What can they do that? You know, if you don't know already a majority, like a a gross majority, like 90% will say 90% of sales is e-liquid. So if you, if you kill flavors, what are you going to sell? You're not selling, you're not making, you're not keeping the lights on and employing people with, with uh, pod systems. Uh, and especially more, just tobacco flavored because these are going so far as to ban mint and menthol. Um, and what's even more telling is that a lot of these are strictly about e-liquid and e-cigarette products. Um, and they're not targeting the menthol cigarette. Uh, it's, it's getting it's getting intense, guys, um, and it's getting heavy. I've been engaging uh, along with Logan Exhales, Oh My La Enta, um, several other people uh, in Twitter in that conversation, and it's it's pretty telling where these legislators' heads are at. Um, and <coughs> at this point, my gosh, it it it's getting it's getting to the point that you can't sit back anymore. Uh, I've, I've had a handful of people try and tell me that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in this industry who don't care and don't want to do what it takes to fight. And they're just all talking, no action. Uh, and I, I'm going to remind everybody to be the change that you want to see. If you want to see something positive happen for this industry, you got to start doing something yourself. That's what I try to do. I want to lead by example in that and do my part and I hope that we can inspire everybody as we do our part to go out and do something of your own to affect change in whatever capacity you can, whether it's on a local level, on a state level, or fighting a federal uh, ban of any kind. Just gotta get involved now because 
it's spreading fast. It is. Yeah. Just really quick, um, as we're going forward, can I just read uh, a little bit of information based Absolutely. around this bill uh, from tele the Telegram or Telegram.com? Uh, basically, I'm going to read a few lines and then feel free to laugh or whatever because it's ridiculous. But let's start here. It says more than 160 communities in Massachusetts have restricted the sale of flavored tobacco products in some way, according to Allison Perrin of the American Heart Association. Perrin said there are 8,000 different flavors of e-cigarettes on the market, and kids can end up getting addicted after first wanting to try flavors like apple teeny, creme brulee, and cotton candy. There's a quote here. Quote, I don't even know if I could name 8,000 flavors, she said. As one of my colleagues said, there's not even 8,000 flavors of ice cream. Why would there be 8,000 flavors of tobacco? I, I'll just end it there. Uh, big, big, big thing in there is 8,000 flavors of tobacco. It's not tobacco. That's the biggest you know, misunderstanding in that right there that I could just get off of just that little blurb that you read. Um, it, that's the biggest misconception guys is there who are, people that don't know about vaping and what's in the, in these e-liquids, they automatically think it's some sort of tobacco product just off the bat with the way that the government's putting it out there saying, you know, it's a tobacco product, this, this, and that, and you know, all this, they don't understand. And it's literally, they keep putting out like these little, you know, uh, surveys or whatever, like swag and just spoke on saying that there's so many of these flavors and they automatically think, like, right there, they said it, tobacco. And it's not tobacco. Dude, here's the deal. Allison Perrin of the American Heart Association, I wouldn't be surprised if she's some sort of a media person or she's got some sort. This is inflammatory rhetoric, and she's making um, it, unsubstantiated claims. And that's why I say it's, it, it's, it's inflammatory because there's not even – this is a st statement of fact. There's not even 8,000 flavors of ice cream. I guarantee you there are 8,000. I guarantee you there probably is. Just as much as, like, what do you think they do with ice cream? That we, we just mix flavorings. Exactly. You could have, every, you could have an apple teeny flavored ice cream. You know? So, there's, there, so it's like, it's I mean, just. At, at the end of the really day, it's hyperbole because, like, let's be honest. There's, there's probably 120 different cereal vapes out there. Right. And they're literally going to count each flavor as something individual. Well, when they're it, all it, practically the same, right? And it's just whose whose do you prefer, or where it's available in what region? Exactly. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, one of the my, one of the arguments that I've I've kind of begun to ask people is, you know, are you against this product because you genuinely wish to see kids have no other alternative to smoking as they grow up and condemn them? to the process of cancer and smoking related illness or is it the fact that as a non-smoker you believe that the people who have made a choice to smoke in their lives don't deserve an alternative to smoking um and that i think starts to whittle in on the root of the of the issue here isn't it Absolutely. And, and that's why, like, I don't want to get too caught up with the flavors thing. I just thank you for, for stating hyperbole. I mean, we just want to show you how to read these articles and dissect it outside of just being like, this is ridiculous. Read it and have a have a defensible argument or have an intellectual argument to provide if you were ever to talk to somebody about this. Right. Um, but to bring it back onto what the actual like, it's more than just that statement. It's more about this is going to kill businesses and people's means of income and also prevent people from transitioning off of the more harmful solution to getting nicotine, which is combustible cigarettes. We want the less harmful solution. So the names of these bills, by the way, it was it was uh, submitted by Senator John Keenan, who's a Democrat, and then. Christie or some something for Gore. Uh, she the representative for the state. She's a Democrat, and the bills are S twelve seventy nine and H nineteen o two. So these basically would ban the sale of all flavored tobacco products in Massachusetts. And the federal so it also goes on to state the federal government banned all flavored uh, flavors of cigarettes except mint and menthol in two thousand nine. We know this. Um, the bills here would also ban those flavors. So you're talking about no mint or menthol. All flavors, just tobacco would be allowed. Just tobacco. In that bill, Swags, does it say anything about cigarettes or no? 
I haven't looked at the bill. I'm finding the bill names here. This has been spoken about since May and now is becoming a thing that people are like, it's, it's actually looking like it's got traction. People were, they were talking about it. You know, you can't, you can only be so prepared. I don't know what to tell you. I got surprised by this as well. I'm hearing about this as of last night. Um, I posted on Instagram about it. That's the best way I can springboard to talk about it. But I didn't know what the bill names were. And now I know what the bill names are. And we can read more into that. But I, it, but it already says here, any tobacco products. So this is going to affect big tobacco as well. They can't sell mint or menthol if they have those, like Camel Crushes, any of the stuff that men, Marlboro menthol, whatever. It can't be sold. That's, that's, as, that's as far as the rhetoric says here. So I can only assume the same. What do you think, James? Well, I'm just kind of reading some of the comments here in chat. Like, uh, Vape and Irish puts a comment in up here. He said, when the U.S. banned flavored cigs, the number of underage smokers went up. And the number of underage smokers who smoked menthols went up to nearly 40%. Of course, they're not going to stop that. And it, it's a good point. Like, it's just, it's, they're trying to, they manufactured this vaping epidemic, this teen vaping epidemic, right? And they're talking about saving the kids, this, this, and that. And all that they're doing is they're getting rid of this, you know, healthier alternative. And they're going to make all these kids end up, at the end of the day, the only thing that they're going to be able to do is pick up a cigarette. You know what I mean? And with that being, they're going to do it. Look at how many of us did. You know what I mean? It's yep. They're just going to make it to where there's no other avenue for them to where that's they're just going to go and pick up cigarettes. You know what I mean? When they could pick, not saying that I endorse this whatsoever, when they could go and pick th- pick up vaping, which is definitely, you know, safer. There's test, there's studies out there that prove it. And it's just complete BS, man. I, I think I just all of this, you know, these flavor bands, cause we got the same thing, same situations going on out here in California, like San Francisco just did theirs. And I'm sure many of, you know, cities, you know, in California are going to start following suit. I've already started to hear about some popping up here and there. And it's just, yeah. it's just such a bummer, man. Cause this is something that we have all found that mm-hmm. has helped us find that healthier lifestyle and help extend our life and be able to give us this, pl- this platform to help, others find that healthier alternative and just like as much as all of us here on these shows and people out there in chat that we out go out there and do it's just like time and time again they're just trying to go after us but this is with that being said we can't give up guys this is something that sean's been saying we can't give up because if we give up and just roll over they're going to do whatever they want and we're not going to have a say in any of it but if we stand up do our part contact these representatives like again nick post posted that uh, his contact information if you are in massachusetts contact john john keenan send him an email give him a phone call send him a letter anything anything will help guys you know if he starts getting a phone call from every vapor in massachusetts one one phone call from every vapor in massachusetts think of how many phone calls that's going to be or how many letters that's going to be or how many emails that's going to be that he's going to sift through and read your guys' stories and your testimonials on how vaping saved tweet your him. life tweet at him tweet at him exactly Absolutely. all I mean, these right representatives now, are very active on twitter He's very proud. He pinned his, his tweet about this bill, and he he tried to say some sort of statistic that there's six times as many youth vaping as there are adults in the state of Massachusetts. What? Let's see. Let's I want to see where he's that. getting this data from, though. Six times as many youth as adults. So to put that into perspective, you're you're saying that for every thousand adults in this state that there's 6,000 kids, I find that entirely too ludicrous to even believe. Absolutely. We're talking underage, too. Yeah. Right. Much, like, like we're, match that against the statistics of how many shops are selling to underage, how many accounts of that there are. If there's that big of a, of a problem, then you need to be stationing people in every store because it's, it's way bigger than just subtly getting a kid every now and then. And, and, yeah. and here's the thing is that, like, Kids are always going to get their hands on it because the, one, of the, one of the things I did a lot of as a, as a vape shop manager was have to kick parents out who were openly trying to buy vape products for their underage children. So there are parents who will enable the habit. 
Yeah. I had a parent that would buy cigarettes for me growing up when I was underage. He bought alcohol for me when I was growing up. There are parents who will enable their kids, and those kids are going to help to enable more kids. So no matter what, the prohibition isn't going to work. We know this. History knows this. Yes. We've seen it with alcohol. We've seen it, it with cannabis. And that's the thing, Prohibition man. doesn't work. It just drives people to a black market. It's that saying, though. I, I'm sure many of us has heard of it, is that history repeats itself. And this is a very, very exact same similar situation that was going on with prohibition. They're going to try and ban all of this, and all it's going to do is cause everybody to go underground and start. Do we're still going to be doing our thing. The people that have found it, we're still going to be doing our thing. We're not going to go away. But it just sucks for the people out there that haven't found this alternative yet. The smoker out there that hasn't been able to get the chance to try one of these vapor products and see how this can help, you know better their life because i don't know about you guys within the first two weeks of me vaping i felt insanely better like i could breathe i wasn't waking up in the morning coughing you know i could taste things i could smell things like it's just it literally within that two week period it was that quick you know what i mean and it's it just it's just shit that the our government doesn't want to allow you know us as adults to make that decision to find this you know what i mean they're they're taking any choice that we have in the matter away from us they're get they're taking away our right to choose is what they're doing and it's it's blasphemy it's 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 un-american it is it's unconstitutional is what it really is and you're gonna start seeing a lot more of it in the future when different states introduce different bills like flavor bands they're not going to give you any warning they're going to do it right they're under just the gonna table. drop it right they're, they're going to do it within like it. a day's notice. They give nobody time to prepare nothing. That's you're going to start seeing that a lot more. So and that's why we got to get out there and we got to do our part now, guys, because if we do it now, this is one thing that like we said, we've said this before in the green room. Talk about my man Shane Oakley, because he's one of those guys, even though it's not directly affecting him right now in Alabama, he's doing everything he can to spread the word with whatever's going on anywhere around him because he knows if it's it might not necessarily be happening in my backyard right now but doesn't mean it's not coming mm -hmm. so he's being prepared he's sitting there and he's writing his emails and he's contacting his representatives now before these bills pop up so that he's already got his word in there and they've already seen that there are people out there that are against this so if we all go about this and we all do that to our representatives and we just write and we tell them how we feel about vaping and you know how it saved our lives and how we think this could save thousands upon thousands of other you know smokers you know in the future like we got to get out there and we just got to do it guys we got to write these letters make those calls make those posts on twitter do whatever you got to do guys you don't have to do absolutely everything like grim says but you got to do something guys you got to get out there you got to put the footwork in if you care about this industry and you care about these vapor products that have helped save your life then you got to go out there and you got to do something about it I'll, I'll tell you what period. even if even if you kind of just like vaping and you don't love vaping to the point of wanting to fight for it think of it from this perspective if they can take vaping for your your right to choose vaping away now, they can take your right to choose something else later. And then your right to choose something else later. And your right to choose something else later. If you give them an inch, you'll, they're going to take a mile. Absolutely. And so maybe you just like vaping and you don't love vaping the way that we do. And so you're like, well, if we lose vaping, I'll be fine. You know, I'll just stop vaping. It's cool. Well, what happens when they come for something that you do like? What then? Yeah. By then, it's probably too late because you're going to look back and go, well, shit, they got away with a lot before I, I saw it. And that's what we're here to do is remind you, Not only don't that, let them you gotta, take it. You got to think about it this way too, guys. If they're going this hard at vaping, what makes you think that they're not going to do this about some other aspect of your life with something else? You know what I mean? With It could be anything at this point, you know what I mean, that they yeah. could crack down on. And like Sean says, if you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile, guys. So we can't give them any more than we're willing to lose. Because the more that we give them, the more they're going to continue to take. And the more they're going to continue to get, grab, grab for straws and try to get every bit of it they can. So we got to do our part to make sure that we're pulling back on that rope. This is a tug of war. And we ain't giving up. Damn right. Dig the heels in. Uh, I yep. lab work at it best. Dig in like a tick. They're hard to Absolutely. get rid of. Absolutely. Absolutely. Damn right. As as gruesome of a notion as that is, dig in. Don't don't let up. I've I've met some people behind the scenes that don't 
come out very often in public forum like this. And the one thing that, that impresses me every time is the tenacity because they'll go to a meeting and they'll lose and then they'll go to a meeting and they'll win. But at the end of the day, they're not keeping a scorecard. It's, it's just about fighting a good fight. Yep. That's honorable. And that's, that's what drives us. You got to lose some battles to win wars. Guys. That's right. So we may lose some, but we may win some as well, but we can't win any if we don't fight. Ain't it the truth. But with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and kind of turn the conversation around on more of a positive note. You know, I know, you know, advocacy can get kind of negative and kind of dreary and stuff like that. And I know a lot of you guys out there are probably tired of hearing about it. But if we don't talk about it and we don't say, you know, how we feel and you don't put the word out there, then we aren't doing our part. So, you know, I know sometimes these episodes get a little dreary, but we're going to try to turn that around, bring some laughs, have some good times. I know uh, this weekend we got something cool coming up. Uh, I know if anybody is out there in the New York area, I believe uh, NVE New York is happening this upcoming weekend. Am I correct there, Mr. Swaggins? Yes, sir. And if you are at NVE in New York in Uniondale uh, this weekend and you see me or Poon Sauce or Nick Bissett, a.k.a. Daily Babe TV, well, if you see me, come up and I'll give you a sticker as long as they last because I haven't bought any more and I got like this many left. So come uh, come grab a sticker. You can grab a business card from Poon Sauce. Isn't that right, Poon Sauce? Do you have one nearby that you can show everybody how proud you are of your new business cards? They yeah, are I pretty guess. legit, guys. They're pretty yes, legit. Okay. I'm proud of them. It was worth the money, but... Oh, Bam. Mr. Bam. Poon Sauce McNasty. Officially yow. Bam. Would you look at that? Yeah. Fancy schmancy. Got that done. So I'm going to try to do some networking while I'm out there. Try to... Just show off your glorious beard. Tell them your beard regiment. They'll know that if you're dedicated to your beard like that, then you're dedicated to selling their product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a fact, Jack. Anthony says he'll be at uh, NVE. He says, check out the Vapors booth. Nice. Deal. Very nice, man. Also, so, no, go ahead. Oh, I wasn't going to say anything important, bro. Go ahead. Oh, cool. I was just going to say that Poon Sauce is going to be in the reviewer's lounge. So if you want to get his autograph, I know I'll be waiting in line. So come hang You're out. You're in there too, damn it. Chat. We can chat while we're waiting to get Poon Sauce's uh, signature. Don't you fucking pull that on me. You're in there too. I hear that's going to be a pretty cool show too. I know that uh, Mr. Grim Green and uh, what's what's that what's that guy's name? Blake Vapes. Blake Vapes. Gregory? Blake, Blake Vapes. Ooh, I heard they're actually hosting the show, so of course they might be doing like some talking yeah. or some sort of stuff. Ooh. So that'd be kind of cool. I know quite a few uh, of you know the the squad will be there as well. So you get like you know your Turk, you'll have your Coil Turd, Grim will be there, Own Boy, Twisted Messes, that whole squad pretty much will be there. I did see that you know Mr. Jay Hayes is going to be there, Mike Vapes, Vaping Fagin, TVC. So there are going to be some you know some of the bigger YouTube. Yeah, Eric Final Vapor is going to be there. Yeah, <gasps> Brad Zeppelin. Brad mm. Zeppelin. Apparently, he lives like a mile away from the convention center. So, dude, that's dope. So he's gonna come there in his Birkenstocks yeah. on his unicycle. Yeah, dude. You gotta give it, uh, Eric a big hug and a and a, and a beard uh, nuzzle for me. You know, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. have to just, give just him. So, are we gonna have the wedding this time? Yeah, dude. The proposal was last NVE. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm a groomsman or a bridesmaid, bro. So you got to figure I'll, that out. I'll let you figure that one out yourself. Oh, Eric's definitely the man in this relationship. Okay. I don't know. Uh, his beard is much bigger. Eric is definitely the man. Yeah, I give him that. <laughs> definitely give him that. So definitely go check these guys out over there at NVE in New York. Uh, I'm super bummed that I wouldn't be able to make it out there. But, of course, I will be trying to make it to uh, – well, I won't be trying to make it. I will I will be at uh, ECC in August, at the uh, end of August, in Ontario, California. You know, it's a short 15-minute drive from where I work, so I'll be hanging out there with my man, Danny Castle. Big shout-outs to you, dude. And hopefully we can – we're trying to get my man, DC Rackley, down. Pretty sure we got it all figured out. So if you guys are going to come hang out with us, uh, I know there's a couple other stooges that might be showing up. From what I hear, a not not a lot of people are going to the ECC show this time around. Uh, I think ECC's kind of burnt some bridges 
with the last event that they tried to do out there in Vegas with the Wave Expo. And uh, some people kind of got rubbed the wrong way. I don't blame them after, you know, hearing some some horror stories. And it's kind of a bummer. But I'll still be out there because it's one of my local shows. And, you know, it, if it's that close, it, I can't not go. You know what I mean? So I'll yeah. be there. And then uh, we are all planning as well. Well, most of us are planning to try to go to the show in November in uh, Vegas as well. Yep. Yeah. Which will be very Vapor, exciting. Vapor Expo France. Yeah, so that would be dope. So hopefully we could see you guys all there. Um, dude, what I want to talk to you guys about, is there anything new that you guys have got, like, picked up recently that you're really enjoying? Because we haven't really been talk- talking about, well, like, new stuff that we've picked up that we're really digging so far. I know you've probably maybe got it one or two things in recently, Swags. I know I've got, like, one or two things in recently that I've been really digging. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and just start it off real quick because this sure. flavor RDA, bro. I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, tune into the high end vape forum, but uh, everybody <coughs> in that chat talks about this flavor RDA, um, even on the groups and stuff. And I just, just been hearing about it. It's like, man, the flavor is insane. This, this, and that. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get one. I got a killer deal on it. Shout out to Macy of Band Builds because she did hook me up, and my boy Swags hooked me up with that black cap. Much loved, brother. But this thing right here, dude, it's kind of threw me for a loop because this is not my normal vaping style at all you know what i mean it's single coil this is definitely a little bit more restricted than like the basic i i think um the way that the airflow works but i'll tell you one thing dude this thing is a flavor machine bro holy crap i was like really blown away by this thing i'm really i i can't disagree with you and that's the crazy thing too um about when you experience, I mean, it's just, I say high end or I'm going to say high end or I'm saying high end because of the fact that I just didn't experience that. There isn't the diverse, you know, spectrum, if you will, of, of styles of single coil vape or just reduced, reduced, uh, airflow vapes on the mass market as there are on, in the high end market. Yeah. I mean, you pay, you pay to play, but I, I've done it for a while now and I have a lot of different types of apes and when you get that one and I have a few of them but the flavor is a gem because it's like my perfect restricted direct lung vape it's smooth it's quiet it's slammed and I get intense flavor off of it it's super easy to build and the build deck is so big you could put a you could probably put a four millimeter coil in there but you're not going to yeah like you got you've got some build space in there like yeah. i have a pretty hefty size alien in there shout outs to band builds again because she not only not only did she hook me up on a killer deal but she even built it for me and then sent it to me so shout outs to you macy because this thing's absolutely ripping it's got a point three in here and dude i've honestly caught myself restricting this down <laughs> even more than how it is normally i'll even cut it down to two airflow holes get a little bit more restriction a little bit more warmth to it Mm -hmm. but it just gives you that super nice dense thick flavorful vape and i'm really digging this and i've been jacoby said this in chat flavor rt rdta is my new favorite atomizer and i've been hearing that a lot from people that even they like it even more than the rda itself uh macy was actually saying that and i kind of found that a little curious i'm interested why because it's pretty much the same thing except for the rdta tank section at the bottom the deck and everything is pretty much the same but who knows maybe it's just the way that it's There's all some put sort of black magic tomfoolery it's, going on yeah bro. it's in the heavy saturation i'm an rta rdta guy myself um and i always tell people it requires the you know the old jenny tilt yeah you gotta get you Absolutely. have to be a tilted vapor but when you do that Oh man, you just you're always getting that that fresh dripped flavor all the time. And I mean, I love I, I love, you know, a good little single coil flavor banger on a squonk because you could just squonk it real quick, bang bang. Mm-hmm. But there is something incredible about every hit being that super rich saturated vape from an RDTA. Absolutely. Coon sauce. <laughs> oh, I got this back in Houston when I got this guy, my infected, my death wish. I picked up the the death trap V2. Oh, the V2. Yeah, dude. And this thing's insane. The flavor is 
amazing on it. It's a single coil freaking cloud chasing RDA because the build I have in there is literally insane. Dude, it's like a six millimeter alien or something, bro. Thing's insane. Yeah. It's gnarly. I'll pull the cap off and show you guys. It's ridiculous. Shut up, Swaggins. <laughs> Dude, that thing's a beast, bro. I remember when you, you came over and like popped the top off of that at the show, and you're like, dude, check out this coil. I literally felt like literally I literally see me through it. Yeah. Dude, it looks like you took a spring out of one of your mods and just decided to throw it in there. That's but the thing trip, about dude. it, guys, with but this it, coil in there, it's a really fucking good vape. What's an ohm out to? Like a 0.4 or something? 0.47. Damn, that was a good guess. So on a series... It's right up my alley for a series vape. So any kind of like high resistance kind of vape where you're pulling more voltage than than usual. Like if you're using something that's going to be pulling a lot of voltage with a a nice... I would say this isn't too airy because you get the the nice amount of airflow on the one side, but then you get the the two holes going around behind it. So it gives you that like... It's kind of like it gives you that off feeling a little bit of like when you're vaping a single like a single sided airflow. That's what I was going to say. Is it feel single sided? To an extent, but then it really it it evens it out kind of. It's weird because if it was that much air on it's a single uneven, side, but not. You want to you want a single sided vape that doesn't feel single sided. <clears throat> the wicked, bro. I never got on the wicked, wicked, wicked train for the rdta because it looked like they just rushed it mm -hmm. um but this addy right here is no freaking joke if you can find one they shouldn't be more than a hundred dollars because they came at less than a hundred dollars new so if you found one for like under rrp which is 95 dollars, you you should scoop one up and it's then i'm really game. enjoying this guy the, the infected series box that thing's pretty dope, bro. Is that is that a Disney character on there? It's actually Frankenstein, dude. Oh, I yeah, thought that was Frankenstein uh, kid. I thought that was the Rock. Yeah, I was gonna or say that was like the Rock. Picnic would say it's Frankie. This thing right here is one thing I'm also pretty stoked on too. Is this red Turk cap? Have you guys seen the new colored caps, bro? Holy dude. crap! I've been looking for an atomizer to go on here because the only red Addy that I have left is my red Cosmonaut, and I've rocked it on here so much. It's like you know, it's time for a change. Threw this on there, and goddamn, just look at that. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm kind of glad that I didn't just go with the matte red RDA, and I actually got the cap because the logo is actually you know stainless or aluminum, so you can actually see it through. And I actually think it you know brings it a, brings it out a little bit, throws a little pop in there and of course picked me up some of them turk t-shirts as well mm -hmm. over the the weekend on that sale dude 50 percent off on turk site bro couldn't pass it up couldn't pass it up did you get any coils james or no no i didn't i d i bought myself a gold turk v2 uh set of red caps and then i got myself a couple of t-shirts you know did anybody I mean? else get any fourth of july deals that they want to talk about i know there was a shit ton of deals out this fourth of july and i did a lot of like online window shopping which i mean like i filled the cart looked how much it was and i'm like nah i'm okay i can wait even with yeah. the deal like, there's just nothing out there that i that i need you know what i mean like it just didn't dawn on me should i spend that money there or should I do something else with it you know what i mean i become i don't know fruit i uh i just don't want to spend my money on stuff like that I already have or something like everything works. Everything's doing good. Like I don't need anything new right now. Nothing's tickling my fancy. Hey, fancy pants. Oh, oh, hey, Michelle. oh hey, Michelle. Oh, hey, you I actually made this it this time. time. Yeah. Actually. Made uh, thanks, for hand thanks for handling that Gabe Claus stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I, I like Gabe, he was talking to me. You guys sometimes in chat, I feel like I got to separate you like a well, parent. Here's the thing. Gabe Claus is Santa Claus's brother, and I think that because Santa Claus is so popular, that Gabe Claus thinks that that allows him to do certain things. Right. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes you sense. feel well, those snowballs? Like, I don't that, think that was Gabe like Craig Christ. Yeah. 
I don't think but Game Club was hugged enough as a child. That's what I think it was. Well, well Michelle, obviously. since you're here, uh, you guys, we missed you this Thursday. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. We missed, we missed it. Weird. That's what she said. Um, I'm pretty stoked because you guys are bringing us a show this week, right? We're gonna yeah, we have a show Thursday, Thursday 10 awesome. p.m. Awesome. During, of course. Maybe but yeah, you, you know, honestly, because we didn't have a show last week, we didn't meet on Tuesday night in Zoom like we do for hours. And then, you know, it's like, I didn't get to see them last week. And it's, it's honestly, it's a little bit sad. Are you having withdrawals? A little bit. Yeah. Like I really am. Dude, I've, I've been having, I've been having, with, I've been having Aziz withdrawals. I don't yeah. know about you guys um, out there in chat, but I've been having Aziz withdrawals. So if you guys can bug the hell out of him on social media, Instagram, anything to say, we want you on the show. We want you on the show. Do it and you're cool. Do it and you're cool. Cause we, we miss hello. Aziz. And I, I just want to have him on, even if it's just for one episode. I miss him. I miss mm -hmm. you, buddy. Come join us. Come hang out. Hey, can I, um, first we can got I show it. you guys what I'm vaping on? Yeah, sure. Go for it. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. Dull dime, dull dime, dull dime. Eclipse cap, eclipse cap, eclipse cap. Clove Monarch. on the inside. Monarch. Oh, and a monarch, yeah. Thank you, Boon Sauce. But was I right about the uh, other three of dull course, dimes dude. and the three or four eclipse caps? Yeah, I'll try to make this simple. Cap in there. Here we go. There you go. Bam. Four Boom. clips gas. Power Rangers. Power Rangers. <laughs> Let me More guess. You hate the TM24 with the Eclipse cat. I, uh, you know what it is? Here's the thing. I, I was thinking about this the other night because certain times at night I in a, in a mental state where I think a lot. And uh, I've been saying for a long time that the TM24 Pro is with an Eclipse cap is the best R, uh, RDA ever. But you know what? It's the best RDA for me. That's all. Oh shit. It's you amazing. know, some people some people might like it. Yeah, it's a great one, but I think that's I think that's the way we kind of have to look at that because it's always like which is better and and honestly it's whichever's better, you know, for that person. Like I know Vapor Swaggins, you know, loves his uh uh <laughs> no, I can't remember the fucking name of it. Whatever. You get my I point. I love my equal rights. Oh, the TM. What is that? The squared, cubed. I forgot what it's called. Cubed. The cubed. Twisted nice. messes cubed with Aria. Wasn't that essentially made for like? It was like early on made for the big coils. Oh yes, oh yes, and uh, that's why it's on a series box because you got to put some big honkers. This is thirty millimeters across. It's 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 a monster. Oh yeah, Irish is right. I actually I was using the PWM mod. Oh, the noisy fucker. Noisy fucker. There's that Trinity cap I was talking about. Yeah. Dude, the you Trinity caps are legit. <laughs> but guys... The, the, the Trinity cap is is really good on this this uh, Addy, but it's only good at higher... Like, it needs a little bit more volts. So, it needs more, more watts. How much watts? How much watts? Well, guys, we are running down to the last few minutes of the show here. So, we're going to do our normal little thing where we kind of pass around, talk about what we got going on. Of course, one thing I want to mention, guys, of course, thank you to our amazing, amazing sponsors. Once again, OMPH, you know, of course, check out the Fountain or uh, Watson or the Real Deal Custard that are three of their pretty damn good juice lines, guys, I will say. And of course, a big shout out to the Independent Vapor Company. Use the code OMIS20 on their website and it'll get you 20% off your entire order, guys. So take advantage of that. Much love to OMPH and IVC for holding it down for us. And make sure you guys stay tuned for next week because who knows, you guys might get a chance to pick up some uh, IVC e-liquid and we might give a couple bottles away. So stay tuned for that. Um, of course, Wednesday, we got something coming up uh, over there on the Poon Sauce McNasty channel with uh, another one of our guests that's actually on the panel this week. You want to talk about that a little bit, Corey? Yeah, me and Sean are back at it again for your your normal Wednesday news segment. We're gonna this one's gonna be an interesting. It's gonna get a little bit more heated. Just I probably say just as heated as when as last Wednesday, which I feel like, felt like we did really good. We. <laughs> that was our pretty much our first run at this together, and I feel like we had a really good dynamic with it. So I'm excited that we're going to be doing this moving forward. And yeah, come on by Wednesday, and you'll be able to hear some shit and freaking hear some ranting. Oh, yes. Very Ooh. nice. And then, of course, you can catch him also on Saturday for a Not this story. Saturday. Not, Not this Saturday. Saturday. Oh, yeah, that's right. You'll be at the show. You can catch him at uh, NVE in New York, guys. 
You got to make your way over there if you're in the area. Say what's up. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, if you guys want, make your way over to Swag's channel. He dropped a new video today. Start of a new series, right, bro? Or a new series. Would you look at this? Nice, dude. <laughs> Dig it. So definitely go check that out, guys. Go show him some support. Of course, uh, you know, you, Dan's holding it down over there at headquarters, IBC. So if you guys are in the Roseville, Michigan area, area, go say what's up. Go holler at him. Go pick up some juice. Say the Omi sent you. And, of course, you know, Dan might actually be back behind the counter. You can hang out with him, chat it up, all that good stuff. Show him some love. And, of course, you can catch Miss Michelle Lynn over on That's What She Said this Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern on the Ruby Roos channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed, which I'm pretty sure you already are. And if you're not, what have you been doing with your life? Go subscribe. Go s- check out the show. One of the best vape live streams on YouTube, hands down. I'll, I'll say it. No. It, my, one of my favorites to watch. Absolutely look forward to it. And of course, you can catch that Grim Green pre show beforehand. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. other than that, I did drop a video on my channel for the Caliburn today. So if you guys want to go check that out, really, really dig this thing here. And I got to say, this probably one of the most flavorful pod systems that I've used and probably why I continue to use it. And it's still got the same pod that I had when I got the damn thing it's like a month and a half later still rocking yeah. still great flavor no burnt taste digging it and uh wednesday another review will be coming up uh for the geek vape frenzy pod system this little gem here thanks to geek vape for sending this my way for let me check this out so review coming for that as well and then you can catch me and sean and my man overdrip he's probably out there in chat uh you can catch us the three of us on friday on my channel for the green room that's 5 p.m pacific 7 p.m central 8 p.m eastern just like this show but on friday on my channel come hang out with us love seeing you guys all on friday and getting you all prepped up for the vape stew uh with that being said do we have a dad joke this week dan do we? we may. We Do may. We? we might, Rabbit. We might. Oh, snap. Go for it, bro. It's time for Dan's Dad Joke of the Week. All right. Finger First goes. of all, uh, to the OPMH people that want to try other stuff, I'm going to put a poll up in our Vaping with the Omis group for the OPMH line. And then you guys vote what you want me to bring into online next. That way I can get it into your guys' hands. All right. That'll happen tomorrow. Now on to the joke. So I just read a few facts about frogs. They were ribbiting. Wow. Wait, what's the punchline? <laughs> they were You didn't get it? You didn't They're get ribbiting. It. I mean it's just bad. That's all. I mean, yeah, that, that that was staler than weak old bread, bud. Try oh. again, Dan. Try again. I, don't I thought that was a great one. one. I was rolling. I thought so, too. <laughs> Donnie you know with the crickets were laughing. He lied. I was laughing so hard, it looked like I wasn't laughing at all. You know what? Wait, I, don't Dave, I have a joke for you. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Uh, uh, see, hey, good. that one was actually pretty good. I like that one. I like that one. I like the play on ribboning. Sorry. Uh, it's <laughs> it's funny to me. What, what about you, everyone? Swags? It's funny to me. Do you have what? something for us? I do. <laughs> Can I read the joke in chat? Did you hear that diarrhea is hereditary? It runs in your genes. Wow. Uh, well, then. <laughs> that's actually funny. That's huh. actually pretty accurate as well. Hey, man. Uh, next time I'll have a poop joke. <laughs> it's freezing in Australia right now, so that'd probably be a good way to warm yourself up. Uh, hey. Yeah. Let's just take it there. I don't get it. So go ahead and hit us with the swags. What do you sure. got for us this week? So let's have a moment of silence. I know it's difficult with Bjorn on the panel, but <laughs> I'm <in> silent. <laughs> and I'm going to read you a, a quote from Her Majesty Gloria Estefan. <laughs> the sad truth is that opportunity doesn't knock twice. And the reason why that's the God's honest truth is because we're in a time in vaping right now where we have an opportunity, one last opportunity to be standing up against tyranny, if you will. And we need to take that opportunity because guess what? According to Gloria, it's not going to come again. Yeah. So that's the God's honest truth. Yeah, according to Eminem, uh, opportunities comes once in a lifetime as well. So yeah, think, think about think that for a minute. Bronson said, opportunity be knocking. You need to let a motherfucker in. Yeah, dude, that's such a great song too. Action Bronson. And accordingly... Oh, by that guy who has the rainbow hair and the freaking bling on his mouth, Gucci Gang. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for that, Corey. Also, also Rick says Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. 
<laughs> all right guys so it's that time it's the end of the episode thank you guys all for tuning in as always you guys make mondays one of the best days of the week we always look forward to coming hanging out with all you guys in chat and we this show wouldn't be able to happen if it wasn't for all you guys so much love and many many thank yous to all you guys out there as always sending out all those positive vibes chris pop fives your way yeah let's just vape on homies <laughs>